Hello, welcome back. Now, before I start, I'd like to share with you the format. So for each session, I'll walk through the concept followed by a demo. Now, let us get started. Now, what are cryptocurrencies? Now, cryptocurrencies are form of payments. You can use it to trade or in exchange for an item. Now, on the right, you see the top 10 cryptocurrencies right now. Important thing to know here is that cryptocurrency works on the concept of blockchain. Now, we will not dwell into the technical details of the blockchain. But what you need to know is that you can think of blockchain like a public database and you need valid validators to check on it, e.3 and 0.4. By validating it, it ensures that all transactions are real. Now within blockchain, there are two popular algorithms. Number one, proof of work. Number two, proof of stake. Right now, proof of stake are being chosen by more protocols because there's no need for hardware. When you hear people talking about Bitcoin mining, they buy a machine, use a lot of energy and all, that is because they are using the hardware proof of work to validate the transaction on the Bitcoin network. Proof of stake does not have this problem. Also important thing to note, on a proof of stake network, Work. You cannot just have a more powerful computer, you actually need to own 51% of the cryptocurrency on the network to take over it. Lastly, let us go into the difference between the term coins and tokens. Now when you hear people talking about coins, these are cryptocurrency with their own chain. Think of it like running on their own network, like Bitcoin is running on the Bitcoin network and Ethereum is running on the Ethereum network. There are also cryptocurrencies out there called tokens. Now tokens are like USDC, Aave, ANC, these are tokens. They do not run on their own chain. Now, for example, USDC, DAI, they run on top of the Ethereum chain. Hope you learn the basics of cryptocurrency. Next up, we are going to look at the different ways to invest in cryptocurrency.